okay so welcome to my next video tutorial on OpenCV and uh, in this video we will see how to use the app modifier to access each and every pixel of your image uh, by iterating over them and uh, I will also show you how to use the app modifier to uh, apply a blur on your image uh, so that will be a lot conceptual than a Gaussian blur however it will be uh, quite strongly typed code so let's start uh, so first uh, I will use get it in this video so gedit that is graphics editor and main dot 9.cpp and uh, yeah, yeah so uh, uh, we will do uh, we'll include some libraries so opencv2 opencv dot uh, hpp and uh, then using namespace namespace uh, CV and then uh, int sorry first uh, we are returning mat type uh, sorry we are not returning any function so just int and main and uh, um, int arg c and char double star arg v and then uh, the main function starts here so we will create uh, two mat uh, types one is the original one and uh, other is a modified one so original and modified let me just name it like this and uh, next what we want to do is uh, mm, create a loop uh, so for int uh, let's name this rows uh, rows is equal to zero and also uh, we forgot to read the images so original uh, is equal to modified sorry sorry my mind is not here right now I was just uh, using uh, another uh, method to create Gaussian blur uh, using the basic uh, formula for Gaussian blur so that's why my I'm just thinking about that right now so let's get back yeah so uh, original is equal to I am read and we will basically read from arg b and this and then uh, we also do uh, modi sorry modified uh, is equal to I am read and then here also arg v 0 we can also uh, do the uh, copy thing but uh, I just like it uh, like this it's it's quite simple and understandable so uh, rows is equal to zero and rows less than um, uh, original dot uh, rows and then uh, rows plus plus and then the for loop body here and then again next for loop because the picture is a two dimensional array as I uh, showed in uh, the second video of the, this tutorial series uh, because images are made up of, of vectors uh, inside pixels the, these vector stores uh, red green and blue values so uh, next one to do is uh, actually uh, first uh, I will uh, load uh, this grayscale image to just to show you that uh, when we take uh, only one signal one type of signal then uh, how do we operate on this and when we take uh, many types of means uh, RGB three signals then uh, what happens so I think I already have a JPEG file in this directory so I will also load this here in dot uh, JPEG and also here sorry I am read and uh, gray scale okay and here also I am read uh, gray scale so this will uh, load just the gray version of uh, uh, image that means uh, it will downsample it to only uh, uh, one channel okay so uh, next uh, we want int calls uh, columns for uh, this so calls is equal to zero then calls uh, less than or 
null dot uh, calls and then calls plus plus and then curly braces uh, so this thing happened here and uh, next uh, we get to the main stuff so uh, what you want to do is you want to do modified and uh, since we have only one signal so I think uh, we will include here include include and uh, std int dot uh, h uh, this is a c library here okay so um, at and then rows sorry rows and calls this uh, this uh, bracket shows uh, the position where are we and uh, this uh, shows the so now what do we uh, fill here so uh, we want values between uh, 0 to 255 pixels and 0 to 255 integer values and uh, what this let, let me just uh, type this first u int uh, 8 underscore t so what this u int 8 underscore t does is it's a, it's a data type of a long long that means uh, it's actually a bit that means uh, it's an 8 bit integer type but it's long long that means uh, it can store values between 0 to and uh, 255 so we have access the pixels of uh, the modified uh, mat type but uh, next we want to store the values in this so what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, reduce the intensity of the original image so original and store it in this so the similar way at u int 8 underscore t and there are also other types like u int 8 underscore t u int uh, 64 underscore t and other types okay u int uh, 8 u int 4 u int 68 uh, like this and uh, then rows sorry rows and calls and we want to decrease the uh, size by 0 0.5 f this is the float value and then now since we are operating only once uh, only on one channel that's why it looks like this uh, however when uh, we operate on uh, all the three blue green and red because OpenCV reads BGR not RGB I mentioned that earlier in my previous videos and uh, if we uh, receive signals uh, that means if we work on those signals that is blue green and red then we will have to use uh, the vector type which is already defined in uh, OpenCV and then we can just uh, disinclude this so uh, we have modified the values next you want to show this so I am show and uh, to show this uh, what we will do simply is uh, mm -mm. Uh, so uh, original okay and uh, original sorry and uh, then next is I am show and uh, this is uh, modified and uh, modified and as we'll see this will just uh, decrease the uh, uh, intensity of the pixels by 2 that means it will half the pixels because we have multiplied this by 0.5f so next we want to uh, just uh, wait for any key to be pressed by the user so wait key 0 and return uh, 0 return 0 and that's it uh, so let's just save this oops I press the control O button so control C here and next we want to do is uh, CD desktop uh, YouTube tutorials and OpenCV OpenCV09 yes and then uh, uh, G++ command so let's do something here so yes Gaussian no 
this is main 9.cpp so main 9.cpp and I hope so we have some errors here it says uh, expected this before so I think uh, we have missed uh, some uh, semicolons yes so we missed semicolons here instead of comma there will be semicolon and again let's just uh, try combining this and again it shows some error so uh, original oh yes so this will be not original it's original save and then run again I think yes it compiled and then uh, we are uh, taking the image directly so just output hope yes so you see it read the grayscale version that means it uh, it have only one type of uh, color sam uh, signals in it uh, that is uh, uh, white and black and uh, we just uh, decrease the intensity by two so you see whatever it's here it's just half here okay so uh, next what we want to do is uh, we want to see how we can uh, access the pixels of uh, an RGB image so instead of I am read grayscale here we will do I am read color and uh, color and then uh, uh, we will also not uh, include this uh, it's not necessary to include this we will change it here now remember this is uh, the this vec now since uh, we are using uh, three a vector with three components we will use vec 3b that means a vector with uh, three components and that those will be in bits and there are other uh, vectors defined in uh, OpenCV uh, it, I think it's up to 6b 10b uh, you can see that if you are using a uh, Visual Studio but here I'm not using Visual Studio okay and uh, then sorry vec 3b and this vector is defined in uh, open cv uh, cv namespace so what we are doing here is this is an uh, 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 an array with uh, three components and we are accessing the first component here uh, just by saying that uh, this is an array and we are accessing zeroth uh, component here so in arrays zeroth component is actually the first component when we convert into the normal language and here we are uh, decreasing the pixel intensity and what we will do is we will copy this paste this three times because the code is same and uh, to modify this we will just change this to 2 and this to 2 and here also this to 1 and uh, this to 1 and let's just save this and again uh, try compiling this hope it compiles without any error yes so output and uh, yes you can see uh, the actual image and the modified image now next what we do uh, in case of blurring the image when you see it uh, more clearly when you see the image more clearly then you see the uh, color variations are quite sharp and quite fast that's why the image is looking that uh, much sharp so what will happen if we average the uh, pixel intensities over a each and every pixel so what I want to say is suppose uh, we have this much uh, pixel here uh, suppose a 2 by 2 matrix here that means this one this one this one and this one and what I want to say is I will take up each and every pix uh, pixel intensities of uh, suppose red color here and uh, I will take up each and every pixel intensities and uh, I will uh, just divide them by say 4 because I have 4 pixels here and I will store them in this value next I move this to the, I move to this pixel and again I average this so you see uh, it's already averaged and then uh, it will again be averaged so uh, you can understand that uh, 
by yourself by just applying some common sense and uh, doing some experiments by yourself uh, and then we will average this and store it in the pixels and then the variations will be quite slow and the image will have be blurred so we can take as many pixels as you want but the more pixels you want uh, the more uh, uh, code you have to write okay so actually it's b the repetition of a uh, same block of code so uh, I've already written the code uh, uh, in my YouTube folder and uh, I'll just uh, show it here not to waste uh, time because I just want to give an idea so this is blur and uh, this is test.cpp and what I've done here is uh, you see uh, this is the original and mod here the modified one is mod uh, mod dot at and I'm accessing the uh, say red component here and uh, then I am uh, taking pixel intensities from the original one and I am dividing each and every uh, values by 16 and here I have 16 uh, pixels in total because I am using a 4 by 4 uh, matrix uh, or you can say kernel and then I just average it over and uh, I store this in this one and then it's again averaged and uh, variations become slow and what happens actually is I will just show you so output and you see the image is blurred from the actual image and uh, what you can do is you can increase just the pixel uh, values uh, that means number of pixels uh, you can set it to 5 by 5 pixel or other types uh, you can set it to 10 by 10 uh, so the more you do the more it's uh, complicated and all you have to do is just write it for one, uh, one uh, channel and copy it for three channels and you see the uh, type of combination I've used for uh, first uh, it starts from here R plus R and C that means the uh, uh, first element of the 4 by 4 matrix and then R C plus 1 then like this you can just pause the video and see the how I have used the values and the similar way you can do this so that's it for today if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and also support me on patreon as a bright programmer and uh, uh, thanks for watching